Alright, I'm just going to stand back and put my hands in my pockets. So you're gonna suck up all the excess bees that made it into the house? Yeah. I like a whack-a-mole. Oh, we got another loose one over here. Nice. As they, as we get to where, I'll take them out back and shake them off. Because the front, as you can see, they're frustrated. And I don't blame them. Holy. So we don't want to go out the front door for a while. We have a lot of uncapped honey in here. So this tool takes and it barely scrapes the stuff off that's, that you couldn't get to. That's what this tool's for. And all these wax cappings we're going to keep and we, we render that wax. Alright, so then I quickly pull it over to here. Put it in at kind of an angle, like that. And it'll get easier because it gets lighter. I'm gonna slow it down slow because they're plastic gears. We don't wanna screw them up. And they're not quite done yet. So we got, oh yeah, they see how the ears are all pretty much empty? Wow. What? They are they are done. And what I'm gonna do is take my can I grab can I get that blue tool? And we're gonna take and I'm gonna re-scrape this. Now what happens is I'm barely scraping because I don't want to damage these cells too much. When the bees go in and clean, they're gonna make this thing perfect. Mm -hmm. They'll go back in and they'll make them absolutely perfect. <sighs> Now that one's pretty much empty, isn't it? What you're doing is, we, so the honey that we've extracted is mm -hmm. going to be full of um, cappings and wax. So what we're going to do now is release it down through a double sieve and into our actual um, honey bucket. All right. So go ahead and slowly, you don't have to take it all the way out. You just lift that gate. Slowly lift it. That is our pure honey that we've been spinning. So we are, we've, we've done, let me think here. So I think there was what five five frames of that, and remember, just sometimes you got to make sure it doesn't overflow. Sure. So you're doing good now. That's fine now. We got a couple more on this frame, so we got about I'd say a total of about six or eight frames worth of honey that comes up to the bottom of this. You always have to keep emptying it out because the uh, the spinner gets gets submerged and it won't spin anymore. And you can see there's little wax cappings that are coming out of there. <laughs> if you want to get a picture of that coming out, wow. that's all honey that's going through one filter into another filter. And then it, it goes all the way to the bottom. Now this takes a little bit. And then if you can get down in there, you can see that'll be the filter honey. That will be the honey that we take and put into the jars. Mm. And all that's left in, in here is just that wax, right? Yeah, just this wax. Yeah, keep that wax. Wow, there's so much in there. Mm -hmm. So I said, you're not wasting anything. Here's what happens when you need bees to clean off your equipment. 
You see this comes up and we're trying to get a little technique going here. Now last year we did six ounce jars. This year we're gonna do um, 10 or 12. This is a 12 ounce jar, so we're gonna measure. Robin just said we're gonna measure the amount in each one. 